Hi everyone and welcome back. So after doing uh, a lot of lot of things with the next auth auth zero and the next CS. Now next thing is because we are writing Udemy clone and Airbnb, we need to know the user role. So based on the user role, we can do lots of things. And how this user role will get populated in the next auth session that is also important aspect. For populating the user role, we need to instruct uh, auth zero to give us the token. I mean, I embedded this information in token, the role information and Auth0 manages the role already. We can assign the role in Auth0 users uh, manually or through the APIs. Okay, you are a creator, you are actually a host or you are just a guest or you are a system admin. So that you can ask and once you do the login with the username password on Auth0 and Auth0 will return token, we can enrich the token with the same information, the roles, user metadata, app metadata information. So that we are trying to achieve in this. So we already know that uh, Auth0 is doing user management. Auth0 already has some users uh, which are already signed up and they might already have the roles. Okay, so user roles in Auth0 provides lots of information about user. You can configure a user data, user app, app metadata or uh, user metadata, app metadata or something like that. And then uh, you can also associate roles. So inside this profile, you can see user metadata and app metadata. And then you also configure. So here you see, I'm just putting some JSON object inside app metadata. Same thing I'm populating inside a user metadata. And then we can also associate the roles uh, for this particular user. So we can configure the set of roles. Roles we can create through the Auth0 dashboard only for all the users. I think I need to change this user ID to either UUID. That should be fixing this problem. So if I just change this to the UUID, it uh, allows me to save. Now this is the next JS application. It is using next auth to connect to the auth0. Okay, so auth0 should uh, give me this ID token and ID token should contain some information about the user role, user ID, and uh, it can also have the information about the user metadata and app metadata because in app metadata, sometimes you store the roles information and some user metadata information that may drive your authorization, right? So this is what I'm talking about. Currently, we don't have that information. It's like plain token with the basic information. Then the question is how to enrich the token with all the data which we storing in Auth0 like user metadata, app metadata, metadata and the rules. There are multiple options to do that. We will explore uh, all the options how we can enrich. We can use Auth0 actions. We can use Auth0 rules, Auth0 flows. So there, uh, when you go to the Auth0 dashboard, these are the options that can help you to enrich your uh, token, which is being generated. So you can just do a flow logs here, you can see, and you can just define the, the rules. I mean, this legacy rule is already there, but you can add a custom rule. And here you can do a simple rules. You can write the simple code here. So here what we are doing is this is an enrich token. And if you look into this function, what this function is doing is it is taking user context and a callback. So here we can do the enrichment of the user and we can just uh, inside access token, we can set a picture, user profile picture, email, app metadata, role information. If you see line by line code, it is doing all those things only. It is populating all the, the role information, user metadata, app metadata and all. And here, let's take a look onto this code a little bit closely. What this is doing, it is enrich the token. So with this rule, we can uh, associate with uh, Auth0. This will act as a hook. So before returning a token post login, this will execute this code and will populate the all the information for us. So this is called enriching the token with the required information. So this Auth0 will give us the information and here we have just like a post login what will happen is it is going to return us few more information whatever we are asking in the post login rule 
so it is like a build id token uh, enrich the token and send it to the next js i mean the uh, next auth session will manage that that's that it will do so this is a simple rule we have created and i mean these are going to be expired or these will become deprecate so we need to use uh, auth zero sessions or zero actions in the future so here i'm try just trying to do the login so i did a simple login and after login i'm able to see my profile information so here from the console we can just see what is your id token value and what it really contains right now after enriching the token if i go to gwt.io and if i try to see then this is really important part here on the top in the top right you can see i'm getting the roles which is empty i'm getting account id and uuid that is the same json object i put inside the app metadata i'm getting it so that's uh, that's a smart right now your token is being enriched with the data which you are sending okay so here inside application i think we can also manage the roles here we can create a roles for the udemy and for the airbnb the roles can be different host guest and admin for the udemy it will be creator guest or system admin these kind of roles you can do and you can also assign these roles to individual user so like i have uh, created these couple of roles admin and then here this is how i can assign the role to the uh, existing user i'm assigning a creator role so let's see when i do the login again does my token contains this particular role information or not because token is something which is traveling to all the services and, and tech token should have uh, your role your user id and all the information inside it So here if we try to I just did a login there were some timeouts and here I just try to copy this token and try to see in the gwt.io that what this token contains and this is important again important part I got the role inside uh, like your domain roles namespace roles I have got the creator namespace app and data I got the account id and uuid so whatever you are putting I, I am able to populate that back inside this access token so when you decode it you get all this information and you can pass this information to the downstream service okay so this is how your enrichment works and once your token is enriched you can start building external services and pass this token as an authorization header there